Hey guys, this is Rails and Racing Productions here, and today I'm going to be doing another NASCAR Diecast Unbox video, and this one will be my first one for the year, and <clears throat> this is actually giving me my first 124 unbox video that I'm doing for the first time in a while, actually, because I have not made one of these, like, I don't know, I haven't featured an unbox video of 124 since, like, Christmas 2022, maybe, or maybe... I, I actually, no, I don't think I did any last year. But yeah, that was just because I just didn't feel like it. But yeah, just this one uh, we'll be unboxing today will be um, Kyle Bush's 2023 um, 3G Gateway win that happened in June last year. Which, yeah, just I just received this today. So yeah, just showing you guys the box here. Sorry if you guys can't really see it. That's just how I'm positioning the camera for today. So yeah. So yeah, I mean, I just received this not long ago, but I don't really know why they decided to produce this one first before the Talladega one, because um, this win actually came after Kyle Busch's win at Talladega, which, honestly, I don't understand why they produced this one first and not Talladega, and then this one. It kind of confuses me, but I guess they just weren't ready to produce the Talladega one yet. So, yeah. But yeah, just that that's what I'm just thinking right there, so yeah. But um normally I would just cut out to um like I would just stop the video and then open up the die kits, but since like it's just easy to open them up, I'll just keep recording. Since yeah, I can just get them out easily, so yeah. In fact, here it is right now, so yeah. Just gonna take that off and put it off to the side along with the box. So yeah, now here is the die cast and I'm gonna say this is probably the most confetti I've had on a die cast right here, to be honest. Like, my gosh, there's just there's just so much confetti here that like you can't really even see what number of die cast this is. Like, let me just pick up the camera. Like, you can just see it right there. Like, you can't even see like where you um look to see what number of die cast this is. Like, I just can't see it. Like, wow, I this is easily the most confetti I've had on a 124 scope die cast. Like, seriously, this is the most I've ever seen. Like, I mean, I mean, I thought, I mean, most of my Kyle Busch die casts are just, I mean, most of my 124 scope die casts are Kyle Busch ones, so I don't have uh, much of others, but I mean, I do have Larson's Texas win, Chase Elliott's Coda win, and then I even have a Jimmy Johnson and Kevin Harvick die cast, but they're just regular ones. But yeah, just, again, though, just, this is just so much confetti right here, to be honest. I mean, I thought I was planning to get Blaney's Daytona win, but I decided not to. So, yeah. And then here you have the engine here. Like, yeah, that actually looks really nice there. Like, I thought for a moment the hood was loose, but I don't think that's true right there. So, yeah. But this is not, this is now my second Kyle Busch um, 124 win from 2023 because, of course, I have this one. His Auto Club win, his first win of the year. Would have been Daytona if he would have won that, but yeah. And of course, um, that with um this one twenty four, I just got. Of course, it comes with um this card right here. Has the information on the back. Yeah, time of race three hours and twenty minutes. Starting position number one. Total laps two hundred forty three. Number of cautions eleven for sixty seven laps. Laps led by their winner one hundred twenty one. And then margin of victory zero point five one seven. So yeah, and of course, yeah, there's 11 cautions because in this race, there were just so many brake failures, especially during those last few laps. Like, like it felt like like every, like, maybe five to ten laps, there was a caution. Like, the end of the race was getting ridiculous because they just couldn't stay green. Like, at that point, I was just getting annoyed and tired afterwards. So yeah, and not to mention also with this deck, I guess it also comes with a race win sticker, which this was, of course, during the 75th anniversary of NASCAR. So yeah. So yeah, and of course, just again, card right here, and of course, the die cast. So yeah, you know, maybe just well, just pick up the camera here to show it here, because then it'll just be better to show. So yeah, but yeah, just here's just a view of it here. Just yeah, so much confetti right here. So yeah, yeah, really glad to get this though. I mean, I am planning to get the 164 of it soon, but I think that's gonna come out once on um, the Talladega win and the 124 and the 164 scale come out too. 
So yeah, you know what? Let me just put the card right here. So yeah, and um, I'll put this two right here. So yeah, so yeah, there there is just um the one twenty four open up and um the card and win sticker. So yeah, just hope you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing video. So yeah, I decided just uh, just not like pause it and um um just. You know, do like what I usually do in the unboxing videos, so yeah. But I decided just to change it up since this is just one unboxing video of this 124. So, yeah. But, yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll be able to make more of these unboxing videos this year, including 124s, so yeah. But, yeah, just overall, that's just what I have to say there, so yeah. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.